Before we get started with the video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. SeatGeek is the best place to buy tickets for any events. They take the best prices from all over the internet and they put it in one easy place for you to use. SeatGeek also ranks their tickets on a score out of 10, showing you which tickets are the best, rated at 10, and which are not. Another cool feature that SeatGeek has is before you buy the ticket, you can actually see the view from the seat that you picked showing you what it would look like if you actually went to a game and you bought those tickets, which is actually extremely helpful and has helped me a lot in deciding which tickets I want to buy for when I go to games. I know guys, the NFL season might be kind of far away, but preseason starts in less than two months, and if you want to get some good deals on tickets, SeatGeek is the way to go. Also, if you want to get a discount on your purchase, use promo code MHH for $20 off your first purchase. And as always, leave a like below and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get back to the video. Look at that. Weather was great really all around the NFL today here in week five. It was a weird day yesterday. A lot of upsets around college football. It's been a strange day already around the NFL today. What's going to happen here in Denver, Colorado? This one to the sideline. Flag is thrown and tapping the feet down for a catch to Marius Thomas. And they're waiting for their big receiver to kick it into gear. Flag on the coverage with Cromarty. And he got Murphy no down. For holding. First down, Denver. They just pick it up. Well, that was an outstanding throw by Peyton Manning. You got Antonio Cromarty. Second and ten, it's Thomas. Perfect throw from Peyton Manning. Working on Chrome Marty and a completion of 24. Well, they swing Monte Ball out. They got one-on-one -on -one with Antonio Cromarty on Demarius Thomas. He's able to get him behind me. Also had Wes Welker in the slot. And Peyton didn't see him, but a little bit easier throw to Welker, but he lays one up for Demarius Thomas. And he's and 44 of their last 44 trips in. Manning doesn't miss down here. Thomas is where the punt. Thomas stands inside the 10. When Peyton Manning, when you're Peyton Manning, you've got 499 touchdown passes. They back out the blitz. Thomas makes the catch. You're not going to stop him. Touchdown. yards and he shoved Larry Foot to clear his path to the end zone. Yeah, Larry Foot was the only one who really had an opportunity to try to make a play on Demarius Thomas. He initially is showing that he's going to come up on the blitz, but he pulls out and he's there to then make a play on the slant route to Demarius Thomas. He just fails to make oh hey. Go. 86 oh yards to go oh for Peyton Manning and that's a big chunk of it. Cromarty is in man-to-man -man coverage and as he turns to try to locate the ball Peyton Manning lays this ball out beautifully but that then creates some of the separation Demarius Thomas right up the sidelines and this has been an offense that has not had the big plays in the passing game that we've grown accustomed to seeing with a Peyton Manning led offense but that was a huge play right there right before the end of this half 86 yards the only question was how long would it take Demarius Thomas to run 86 yards? The answer, 11 seconds. Well, when you come up, Joe, as the Arizona Cardinals like to do, they, they've got outstanding corners. Pro Marty is a three-time Pro Bowl player. He's made each of the last two Pro Bowls. And when you lock up like this, man-to-man, -man, you're going to, at times, give up some big plays. And Demarius Thomas, who, as we've talked about, just got off to a slow start, but it's just a matter of time before he's going to get going. He's too good of a player. He's too explosive to hold down 
for very long, and he has been outstanding here in this first half. On third down and four, Manning steps up. He's got Thomas. He's got a big day, getting bigger. Out of bounds near the 40. They're going to mark him at the 45. That's where he stepped out. A catch and run of 29. Well, you get this man-to-man -man look over and over and over by Arizona, so you run the crossing routes, and then Cromartie's expected to navigate traffic and run stride for stride with Darius Thomas and Demarius Thomas, and that's it's hard to do. Roman is a guy that they really like. Think back to last year, as we see the day that Demarius Thomas has had. You know, they were platooning him and Monte Ball and working record set by Brett Favre. They're going to put it up. Why not? Wide open is Thomas. He's over 200 yards as he adds to his career best day. He's been itching for a day like this. Yeah, it's a good coming out for this season for Demarius Thomas. This is an outstanding route on the outside. It's been a quite a battle going on on the outside between he and Cromer. 213 receiving yards for number 88. And two touchdowns. Defenses and great quarterback play for a long time. Pass is caught. There's the record, the franchise record for receiving yards in a game is Demarius Thomas. He's got to be looking at these Cardinals defenders. Cardinal defenders have to be saying, enough? <laughs> you guys good yet, or you want to keep going? Well, they're going to say, hey, when are you going to take 18 out of the game while you're at it? So is Brock Osweiler. You've got to be saying, what does it take to get into a game? You know, this game looks entirely different, but trying to hold up against this group for that long, just impossible to do. For the first time this season, John Fox's club puts together two strong halves. That had been one of the storylines coming in. Doing his thing and Peyton Manning. They're starting to look a lot like the team last year, maybe inching toward being even better. Well, we saw today them get back to what they did all of last year. That's the three wide receiver sets. Don't commit so much to the run. Throw the ball, put the ball in Peyton Manning's hand. And he played brilliant. He really did. How about that long career that started in 98? He's got a single game passing record.